create a landing page, go to Sites. Here are all the landing pages I created. If you haven't created any yet, then you'll need to click Create Landing Page over here. Give your landing page a name and click Save and Continue. Now choose a group. The reason you need to choose a group or more than one group is that when you have a form on your landing page and people subscribe through that form, they will be added to this specific group you choose here. Once you're done, click Save and Continue. Now choose one of these templates. For more templates, just change the page here. And here we have more templates. You can also change the view to see more templates at once right over here. Once you've chosen one, just click Select. And here we go. So here we have different blocks. This is how your landing page will look on the left. And you can, of course, change the order of the blocks by using these buttons here. You can make it go higher or lower or lower, or you can drag and drop and put these wherever you need them to go. On the right side, you have different blocks that you can also just drag and drop, put them anywhere you need, and you have different settings of each one of these blocks once you click the block. And when you have a bit more complicated blocks, instead of clicking the block, what you want to do is click this little button here. And each block has different settings that you can go through. And this time, I'm not going to go through all the settings and all the blocks because this is just a quick overview. There is a separate video for this specific landing page editor that you can go ahead and see. So I'm just going to cancel this here. And like I said, you can just keep on adding different types of blocks here or wherever you need, change them around. Also, instead of dragging and dropping from here, you can use this little plus button and also add different blocks. For example, a video block. Now I showed you that when you click a block, you will have the different settings. In this case, I need to click this button here, different settings for the specific block, and even more settings once you click the settings button. But if you cancel this and, and are in the blocks area where you see all the blocks, you also have this setting here, which is the global setting for all the blocks and for all the text, for example, right? Content, element, text, and you can change everything at once from this little area so let's make it red let's make it red so we can see it better and click save and now all the buttons are red and of course you can change you can then go ahead and click on this block go to form settings and change the color of this specific one and let's change it back to black there we go so this one is red this one is black and all the other ones are red again so these are the global settings let's cancel here and let's go back to these blocks here. One more thing, you can see all the blocks here and just click it or you can search for a block right in this area. For example, video block, right? That's it. To go back, you just click this button here and you can discard all the changes. This is the landing page. Now, when people subscribe to your form that you added to your landing page, you they will see the success page here. And you can also edit the success page. You can add different blocks, etc, etc. Now let's go back to the landing page. I have these buttons red. I changed this to black, but I didn't save it, so it's, it's red like it was before. Here I have the history of all the changes I did, and I can go all the way back. And what this will do is, uh, let's, let's see if I just change the color here. There we go, we have black again. And then if I go to the bottom and undo, even the block will disappear because that was not originally in this template. You can click the preview and see the version of this um, landing page for desktop and mobile. See the preview link that you can share with your subscribers or with your website visitors on social media, etc. And then we have different actions here. So you can save this as a template. So you can use this template, change it around, and then save it as your own template. You can also remove all the content blocks if you want to start from scratch by clicking this button, which I'm not going to do now. Now, once you're done with all the edits, with all the changes, you can either save this landing page as a draft or you can publish it so others can start seeing it. Let's click Save and Publish. And here we go. Here are the page settings. You can give the page another name. Now, this is a page that we provide for you, this domain. So many people will use this domain. The, all of our clients can use this domain. So not all names will be available, but in this case, new landing page is available. I checked. Now, if you click this button here, you can also see your custom domains. Now, this is not a real domain, but I added this custom domain called yourcustomdomain.com. And you can add new domains by using this button here. Just click it, follow the instructions, and you can add your own domain. 
Now this is the favicon. This is what you see when you when someone opens the tab of your website in their browser. That little little picture there. This is what you will see there. You can change this. Now we have the SEO settings. This will help people find your website, your your landing page on in Google or Bing or whatever search engine they use. So you can add the page title, page keywords, page description, etc., etc., and social share. This is nice because you can add a special image that will show up in Facebook instead of uh, an image from your landing page. You can you can set up a different image, and the social share description, social share title, and analytics and custom code. So this is for Google Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, and you can use this header code injection for other programs you might be using. Once you're done with this, just click save and continue. And here is an overview of your landing page. You can turn off or on double opt-in. It's always a good idea to have this turned on. Here is the URL we just created with the word new landing page here. You can edit it, like I said, add your own domain. And here is the landing page. You can have a preview. You can unpublish it if you want. And you can create up to five different split tests for this landing page. So it's like having five different pages. You can check and see which one works better for you and keep that one that works the best for you. Pretty cool feature. I'll have a separate video for that too. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. And the page settings are here. This is what we just went through a moment ago. So I'm not going to go in there again. Analytics. This will start changing once people actually start subscribing to your landing page or visiting your landing page. Here we have automation. Now, of course, you can create an automation in the automation tab here, but this allows you to do it straight from your specific landing page. Just click create a workflow and you can automate emails and different other things. Please see the automation video for that and domains. Now, this is very important. If you haven't added um, a custom domain to your landing page, any landing page, you're not going to see this tab. So be aware if you don't see this tab, it's just because you haven't added a custom domain here. But if you did, you can click domains. You can make sure that the status of your domain is active here and that the SSL certificate is enabled. You can do that by clicking your domain here. Of course, this is a demo. That's why this is inactive and disabled. You can add also new domains by clicking this button here. And that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the overview. You can just make sure everything is right one more time. Oh, you can rename the name of your landing page here, duplicate it, delete it, or edit it right from here. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Once you're done, just go back to sites. You'll see your new landing page here. And that's pretty much it. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.